Hey guys, so today we are going to be reviewing G the GR7 from Shimano. This is classified as an enduro bike, I mean enduro um, flat pedal shoes. And I actually went with this shoe. I, I'm, I'm riding a road bike. But the reason why I went with the flat pedal is that on longer rides I want to be able to um, be able to move my feet around the pedal uh, to alleviate the pressure points uh, just so I could have more comfortability and on top of that I heard there isn't really that much efficiency gain when you switch to you know, clipless pedals other than of course if you do sprinting so anyways first things first I was thinking about going with uh, the you know, 510 Freerider Pros um, however, the reason why I went with the GR7s is because of the breathability, and I'll show you a bit later. So here's the box right there. Um, just received this today, right? Okay, just gonna. There we go. So um, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay. So. Here's the box. Shoes. Take off the shoes right now. I went with the black shoe with red shoelaces. Uh, can you see it? No, let me just increase the. Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, guys, here's the shoe. So, I went with the black collar with you know red shoelaces and with some red accents on here 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 so yeah the reason why i went with this shoe uh, over the 510 freerider pros is because of their breathability so uh, um some of the things that you have to take note is this is made of synthetic upper with mesh on here and some ventilations on the forefront uh, red laces it has this um, you know protection in order for you to avoid getting any debris into your shoe so it has mesh on the outer side and on the inner side and what's really great about this shoe is its ability to grip the pedals now it's not really as great as the 510 pros because that's a benchmark for you know that's 510 pros or 510 freerider pros or 510 in general with their stealth rubber is by far the best in the market in terms of grips for flat pedals right but this comes next this isn't really bad at all Again, I'm not going to be using this for enduro ride. I'm going to be using this on my road bike, and I do. I love sprinting, and I think this is going to help with it. So, the highlight of the shoe is that the sole is actually made by Michelin. See right there. And what I really love about a shoe is it has you know just subtle details. It doesn't have the GR7 right across the shoe it has this very subtle detail um, with the branding and all which I really love here's the sole um, the sole actually feels plasticky on touch but they say it's really grippy so it has grooves on it just so the pins would be able to hold firmly into there um, What's funny is that the sole, the front and the back, the heel part, actually looks like uh, what you would see on a tire, a pattern on a tire, right? So, and one thing I love about the shoe as well is that the part where the pedal will sit on is really wide. So this is very ideal for me. Like I said, sometimes I want to put the pedal on here, sometimes here near the arch, and just want to have that kind of variation, especially for longer rides. Now, the stiffness is, of this shoe is it's very sti stiff. Like I'm giving like 50% of my strength here. And it's not even moving at all. So it's not flexing, right? So... 
I guess it has, you know, um, I have to break it in in order for me to introduce some flex on it. But right now, out of the box, it does not have, a, it doesn't have that much flex on it. Like, it only moves uh, maybe one or two degrees, and that's just it. So, I went with a size 41. First impression, I really love the shoe. It has, and... I bought this for 3,800 pesos, so that's right around, um, you know, $75, $80, which isn't really bad. Um, and again, I went away with the clipless, clipless shoe because here in the Philippines, the traffic is so crazy and it's just not pra practical and safe for me to maneuver my way through heavy traffic with clipless on. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I went with flats, and I also like the freedom that you have with flats. I'm riding this with a road bike, which is funny because you have an enduro road shoes, uh, enduro shoes for, you know, for for road bike. But that's what it is. I'm I'm really impressed with the shoes, and I think I'm gonna be more impressed once I get to use this on the road. So I'll make another video on how that feels. Um, but yeah, so far, so far so good. I like it, I like it. Okay, one more thing I don't like about the shoe and other people also noted is the weight of the shoe. That's really heavy. Uh, I, I think partly because the sole has to be stiff, therefore there's more materials uh, invested in the sole that's why that's probably where you're getting most of the weight from because the material looks very very light yeah okay I still have this uh, yeah yeah okay so yeah um, <clears throat> hope you like the review if you wish to uh, see other or future content so don't forget to subscribe like the video if you like it and don't forget to press the bell icon for future notifications have a great day